Let me also talk about the admissions uh, process today at Dickinson. Again, as you know, we do not require the SATs. Uh, you don't have to submit them. Uh, we find we attract some very interesting students because of that policy. But we also really now today are very clear about who we are as an institution, what we want to achieve, and how we define ourselves. And therefore, sometimes when we present ourselves, well, excuse me, when we present ourselves always now to prospective students and families, we say something that can jolt them. For example, when I give presentations to large groups, very large groups now that come to Dickinson to hear about it, juniors and seniors in high school, I will talk about what Dickinson is, many of the things I've been sharing with you. And then I'll say something like this. I'll say, if what you heard resonates with you, if you could see yourself being part of this Dickinson College ambition, if you could see yourself aspiring to the Dickinson dimensions, then by all means apply. But if for any reason this doesn't resonate, don't bother. It's not good for you and it's not good for us. Now that is a pretty direct and confident statement, but I want to give you an idea of where Dickinson is today. We know who we are. And therefore, even in the admissions process, we are changing our approach to where we are asking students in their essays, in other aspects of the process, to indicate and think seriously about what Dickinson says it is and whether they see themselves here. Is this the type of education they want? That is a radical shift. It is a shift that takes away, we hope begins to take away, the students simply writing one, either about themselves, totally, with a disregard for the community they intend to go into. And this is happening all the time. There's a huge self-centeredness that has been developed in the college admissions process. And that simply has to stop. The students have to relate to points in the world. And what better than to relate to the college they are attempting to attend and also, we're hoping that the students pull away from this devastating syndrome of busyness and that they just give to us applications that list activity after activity in a most shallow manner. And so part of our message to students is achieve self-consciousness begin to get that, begin to achieve perspective, and that is not achieved by being scattered in your activity. You need to concentrate, focus. Now that doesn't mean focus too early on one thing. It means perhaps do numerous things when you're young, but do them sequentially and with some depth and with some rigor. So this, again, you need to know this is part of our comprehensive holistic approach during the last few years at Dickinson.